everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Artsy Bits, my channel where you know there will be creativity, but you never know what that creativity will be. Today I just wanted to get my gouache out and do some work in my sketchbook, and so I decided to go ahead and paint some mid-century modern retro fabric patterns. Some of these I found online, others I just made up in my own little head and got them down on paper. And this was just a really fun exercise in a lot of different respects. I was able to practice my brush control and my blending, my color mixing, all kinds of things. My gouache experience was enlightened through this process as well. There's so much learning that takes place even when you're doing something small, even when you're just doing something fun. You're continuing to grow as an artist, continuing to learn. At least I am. I'm still on this art journey for sure. So basically what I'm doing is to varying degrees in each one of these four quadrants in my sketchbook, I am just sketching in with pencil some general ideas of shapes and lines on these pages. And then I'm just going to kind of bounce around from these four corners, one to the other, adding in some different layers of gouache, bringing these to life. Now I am such a sucker for mid-century modern and vintage fabrics and designs and art and furniture and lamps and all of it. And sometimes it's really hard for me to see these beautiful things and not buy them. And I felt like this is one way that I can enjoy the pattern and enjoy the look without actually buying everything I see. So sometimes I do that. I'll take pictures of something that I love and I just appreciate it visually without having to take it home with me. I like to keep things a little bit minimal in my house while still enjoying things of beauty around me, but I don't wanna go crazy and just buy all of the things that I see. So actually this fabric here that I am drawing in the corner is actually a piece of vintage fabric that I saw on Facebook Marketplace and just thought, that's so beautiful, but I don't really have a need for it, so I don't wanna buy it, but I thought I can paint that and that would be kind of a fun exercise. And that's kind of what inspired me today to do four different sort of fabric designs, retro mid-century modern designs. Now this one here, I'm just, creating out of my own little pea brain <laughs> and um, I just was inspired the other day a few months back I saw some sort of flower and it inspired me for that upper right hand fabric and that'll make more sense as we go on and things develop a little more. I loved this green fabric I think this was on Wayfair or something like that and so it just inspired me and I thought I wanted to do some practice with some funky flowers and lines and enjoy it and also Green is just one of my favorite colors, so this one really appealed to me quite a bit. And then the final fourth corner here is going to end up being kind of this golden orange color, and it's going to have sort of a swooping rainbow of darker oranges to lighter oranges and yellows. And yes, I did get a little bit of brown gouache on my brush there, and that's what happened on that lower right half of that little quadrant, but I don't really mind. It's just a sketchbook and I'm still learning. And that's one of the things with gouache that is so important to keep in mind is that you can reactivate things when you touch them with something wet. And so again, like I said, this was just a really good sort of practice activity for me, something to do when you're not sure what to do. I challenge you guys, try this out, pick a style, pick some fabrics, and go ahead and just start drawing them in a sketchbook. It's fun. Any of this just develops eye-hand coordination, and you're learning a lot about sketching and drawing along the way. And it's, you know, step in the right direction. Just learning as I go. I'm not going to hammer on too much through this whole video. I want you to be able to sit back, relax, enjoy something cold to drink or warm to drink, depending on where you're living and what the weather is outside, what sounds good to you. But I just want you to sit back and relax and enjoy. If you find yourself enjoying this video at any point, would you just take a quick second and give it a thumbs up? And if you have a question or a comment, leave that down below. I'd love to hear from you. I especially appreciate advice. I always say share advice, but be nice down below. I want to learn. And the best way to learn is by gleaning advice from others who might know more than you. So I do welcome that down below. And I just appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. 
Don't forget that you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are down in the box below, as well as on the end screen of this video. Watch to the end, I'll share some still photos of these finished quadrants of mid-century modern retro fabrics, and I will also just share some links to my other channel and things like that. I hope you're having a really fabulous day. Just enjoy this process, sit back and relax.
it is that time again. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I'm removing this washi tape and getting those nice crisp white borders. Now, I don't know if you noticed, it took me a second, but I realized I forgot to add in these white stripes on top of this red background. This fabric actually had some sort of misshapen white stripes in the background on top of the red, and I didn't want to go without that. I think it really brings this fabric pattern to life. So I went ahead and actually just grabbed the cap from my white acrylic paint and worked that in here on the page. The rest of this was all done in gouache, as you recall, but those white stripes were definitely acrylic paint and just an easy way to add that to the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you ended up enjoying any of these. Which one of these fabrics is your favorite? I would love to know down below which one do you like the best, or is there a different style of fabric that you prefer? Let me know in the comments section. I hope you're having a wonderful day, you guys. Find me over on Instagram at InstaArtsyBits. Find me on Facebook at Artsy Adventures. If you're interested in my spiritual journey, you can click on that little button down at the bottom right-hand corner. That's where I do some art that's of a more spiritual nature, and I'd love to have you join me over there as well. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care, and we will see you next time.